Hi guys, Candy Roo here. Um, it's of course been a little while since I've uploaded a video, but that's because we're expecting baby number two. So um, tomorrow I will officially be out of the first trimester. It was a little rough, so I'm getting my energy back and hopefully I'll be putting up videos weekly. I know I always say that, but just so y'all know, like there was a legitimate reason. Um, why the videos are taking a little bit longer. So today I'm going to do two um, head covering tutorials for you guys. They are two completely different styles. Um, one is what we would call here a hijab style, which is what most people would associate with the Islamic style um, covering. And the other one is called a sinar tichel, which is most associated with a Jewish style head covering. So, um, as you guys know, I don't think any head covering style is particular to one faith um, or even culture really, but whatever, we can debate that. So I'm just going to get started. We're going to do the Sinar Tickle style first. So what a Sinar Tickle is, is just an apron scarf. It's the Hebrew for apron scarf. Um, and so it looks like this. I hear that they're pretty easy to sew, but I haven't tried, but I am going to try soon. This is from Israel. It's from modly.co. I will put the link below in the video. It was a gift from my sweet husband. Um, he saw me looking at the website and just like, just uh, gawking over these beautiful um, tickles. And he surprised me. He went online and he picked the one that he knew I'd been looking at the most and he surprised me with it. So it's my favorite. Alright, so I have a volumizer on. It's the same volumizer I always wear. Um, on this style, it's going to probably be a bit too much um, fluff in the back, but because I'm doing two, I'm not going to take it out. So you'll just see like it might be a little far out. So what you do is you take the wrong side of your covering and you flip it over on your head and you can adjust it and put it all the way up if you'd like. I like to have mine um, a little bit back and so I'll kind of show a little bit of hair there in the front but you don't have to if you're not comfortable with that. And all I do is I um, come around back here and I crisscross them in the back. And then I just kind of tuck in the little pieces that are out, just so I have a nice, nice, neat, round shape. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this end and take the wrong side of it. So this is the right side. This is the correct side that you want to show. I'm going to go inside out, and you're going to flip it over your head like that and then I just kind of like pull that back and just kind of leave it back there and then I will take um, this side and do the same thing just flip it on over to where and let you can lay it you know wherever you want to lay it um, and then you just take this here in the back and just tie it you can double double it or single it, however you want to rock that, and then you just straighten out whatever you think needs to be straightened out there in the front. This particular head covering also has another um, piece to it. It's like a, there's a headband that has a, um, like a brooch attached and it's so gorgeous, but I have a one-year-old who takes everything and she it's in the car she has it she plays with it so um, you could add a brooch or you know just whatever you want and that's the final look again this is a sign article you can get it from modly.co and I will put the link for this um, head covering and for the website below um, I do believe that they are out of Israel so shipping they ship really quickly but it does obviously they're international so it takes a little bit
Okay, so I'll take this one off. And now I will show you a style that I've recently been wearing a lot when I wear the hijab style. Um, I like it. I saw, I think I saw someone on Instagram um, post a video. I can't remember who she was or whatever. And I don't, I'm not doing exactly how she does it, but I'm doing the candy roo basic <laughs> style. So this again is a jersey material um, hijab covering. It is from hijabibox.com. Um, so that link will be below. As always, we put the scarf, put the scarf on my head. Um, I'm gonna bring it forward just so I can make sure one side is shorter, like drastically shorter than the other. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but I mean, drastically shorter. And then what I'm gonna do is actually this time, we're going to pin it in the back. So if you guys have watched my other tutorials, you know, typically you pin in the front. This time, we're going to pin in the back. So what I'm using is just a basic um, safety pin. I don't know if you guys can see this, but just a tiny basic safety pin. Yes, it does. It snags my scarf, but again, more basic. You can get fancy ones that do not snag. Um, on a couple different websites. So, you just pin the two um, pieces together the same way you would in front of your face. You just do it behind. Okay. And then you're just going to bring it forward like you would if you're doing a turban. And so you take these two, on the shorter side, these two flaps here, and you fold them together. What we're going to do is we're going to bring it over the way we would as if we're doing a turban. And so if you see, this is going to create the zigzag. So you want to lay it um, diagonally. So you do cre create a sort of part there. And so what I just do, I just take it and I just pin it right in the back there so it stays. Like that doesn't matter, no one's going to see it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the top part of what's left over here. We're going to bring it around the chin and up around your hair. You're going to bring it all the way around. Keep going until you get it where you want it. And then once you get it around, you can kind of just play with it how you would like it. And I'm actually going to adjust that a little bit more. There you go. And then I'm using little sewing pins, um, just basic sewing pins. And then we're just going to pin it into place. And again, I had someone ask me how I um, keep the pins in, and you have to pin it into something. And so I, I have to pin it into the scarf. And so when I take it, I take it in, go inside the scarf and outside of the, the top and the bottom value miser, and then weave it out. And that's how you're going to get it to stay. And so I'm going to do one more here, and I'm going to go too far back. So. So I go in, and then I'm going to bring it out there, and just push it on down. And you can, you can, if you want to wear earrings, you can pull it back here and wear earrings. I've seen women do that. I have not tried that yet. Um, I like to really cover my ears. So this is the finished look. So I really like it. Um, I get loads of compliments on it. It's, it's easy. It's fun to try. Um, I do think that it would look more chic and glamorous if you do it with different materials such as, um, chiffon material or maybe some, um, I don't know, the other silk, silk material, just a nicer material. This would probably look even better, but for now, like, I really like it. It's easy. And I hope you guys enjoy these tutorials.
circles. Please comment below. Let me know any other styles you guys would like to see. Um, I'm thinking of the next tutorial being a double crisscross um, tickle style. So you guys let me know what you want to see. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.